So welcome back to Orkney. We've got blue skies, it's a beautiful day, but it's windy. So I'm just going to answer a few questions that I've had over the last few videos about regen and stuff I've been using in the Tesla Model Y and have I still got the E Nero or have I just you know completely got rid of the Nero? I'm going to answer all those questions. But well, instead of doing it on my drive, I thought I'd take you to Wyford Hill, which is up there, which is the highest point on Orkney which on a day like today is absolutely spectacular. So um, we'll see you up there. So when you go up to Wyford Hill, there's loads of TV masts and mobile phone masts, etc. Top tip, never park with the wind behind you, otherwise you will lose your driver's door when you open the door because it's that windy. So always park nose into the wind. So this is Wyford Hill. I don't know whether my road mic is going to work or not, <laughs> but it's windy. It's just the highest point on Orkney. Behind me is Scapper Flow. Down there is Kirkwall. And over my head is where I live. Let's get in the car. So first off, I still really love my Kia e Nero and we're keeping it because we do need two cars here on all, even though it's just myself and my wife Ursula, um, we're a two car family and there's no public transport to speak of. So I'm in the fortunate position that we can run and afford both of these vehicles, but I still love the Tesla Model Y. Um, when I went down to pick it up, I visited family, I also visited my daughter Harriet. So here's a quick clip of what my daughter Harriet and her two kiddiewinks thought of the Tesla Model Y. Josiah? What do you think to the car? Good. What do you like most about it? It's electric. Oh, good lad. Good what answer. else? Um, fart mode. Fart mode. Fart mode. And what have you been watching? Um, basically, um, Lego film. And I love the TV. And I have to say, I don't know how to work the screen at the back. We don't know, do we? No it was idea. in there, what, two minutes? And he suddenly got Lego playing on YouTube. Go Left, yeah. <laughs> I think so. Um, he got Lego on YouTube. And it's on yeah. now. And I don't know how he's done it. You're a pro, aren't you, Josiah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you think to the roof? Good. Good. We love the roof. And what does your sister think? I don't know. Probably good and happy. She's catching flies, so I think she improves yeah. comfort levels <laughs> maximum. The comfort zone. And the aircon is amazing. Love the aircon. And the go. cool, cool seats, cool bottom is always welcome in 30 degrees. So my lovely daughter Harriet. You like the Y, don't you? I love it. I love the front of it. I think it's yes. very sexy and the white interior. So was the white interior a good choice? It was. Not if you've got kids, possibly, but <laughs> we'll see how you feel when we unpack the car. <laughs> <laughs> and we got the push chair in. Yeah. And we picked up a suitcase from my mum's. And it just, you were amazed about how it It's so sort of, big, the yeah. boot's huge. Yeah, and then I forgot there's a boot at the front. So perfect for a kids and travelling. So what car are you in at the minute? I'm in a Peugeot 3008. And do you sure. think the boot is bigger in this than yeah, yours? definitely. Could fit a bike and a pram and bags in. So yeah, it's a win. Cool. <laughs> Thank you, Harriet. Okay. <laughs> so there you go. The Tesla Model Y was approved by my daughter Harriet and my grandkids as well so it was great to get their input and great to see them when I went down to Leicester when I was picking up the Tesla Model Y. Now in previous videos I've done with the Tesla I've been accused of sort of selling out a little bit and reviewing uh, items, car mats, the protective rubber bits around the carpets and all the various bits and bobs are being sent by companies which is very flattering and um, yeah a lot of you don't like the fact that I'm doing that but do you know what? It's free. 
it gives me something else to talk about and I'll only promote stuff or talk about stuff that I think is genuinely good and so far all those items I've put on video have been really good. So here's another unashamed plug promotion. Eat the Rainbow. This is produced by my daughter Harriet and I tell you what folks, the photography in it is just absolutely brilliant and my daughter Harriet is a vegan. I was a part-time vegetarian, still a part-time vegetarian, um, but Harriet is the, is the whole ticket. Um, fantastic books, got some amazing recipes in, so there you go, there's another plug for a product. <laughs> it's my daughter's book. So if you're vegan, or even if you're not a vegan, I promise you these recipes are easy to follow, even I can work them out, and um, they look delicious and they actually are delicious. So I'll put a link in the description to Amazon where you can get yourself a book. Make great gifts as well. There you go. There's my plug for the day. My proudest plug ever. My daughter's book. Um, other things that people said over the last video about the Model Y and what I thought of it was the fact I made the statement that I was frustrated that you couldn't turn off the regen. So you have that ability to reduce the regen but being able to fully turn it off like a can in the Nero is something I missed. These are some of the comments I got. Quote uh, from Sander1068, quote, is quoting me, I'd like to turn off regen because that makes the any EV more efficient. It does. Not sure what you mean. It's actually the opposite. There's four. I'll give you four. This is the second one. Lawrence, seven of nine. Maybe he's a Star Trek fan. I'm with you there, Lawrence. You think no regen is more efficient? Driving the most efficient EVs, Teslas, there is. Any other gripes? And other gripes are your settings, not car. You're, this is the bit that made me smile. You're not as well informed as I'd hoped, but appreciate the general enthusiasm. Will you produce a video to correct your misunderstandings here and highlighting comments? Cheers. Yes, I'm doing that. Come back to that in a minute. Not as well informed as I hoped. Made me smile. Ben, GM9LO, thanks so much for sharing your views on your Model Y. Uh, Model Y, love your presenting style. Thank you. When I can talk properly. I was confused when you mentioned the lack of control over regen and your assertion that no regen makes for higher efficiency. Surely, no regen means you will have to use mechanical brakes for slowing, so wasting that kinetic energy. How can no regen result in high efficiency? Not a sensible question. And then Tom Hart, 3058. Jonathan, can you please explain why no regen is more efficient, which is what I'll endeavour to do. I do love regen. Uh, when I had the Nissan Leaf, the 40 kilowatt hour, that had that uh, e-pedal feature where basically it's one foot driving which is fantastic for around town you don't even touch the brake pedal itself you enable uh, the regen of the motor to harvest energy when you want to slow down when I'm on the motorway and I'm coming off the motorway down a slip road or coming down a hill we'll come down Wyford Hill in a minute I want all the regen I can get to harvest that energy back into the battery. Regen, regen is fantastic. On a long flat road such as the motorway you want zero regen. Let me explain why. If you just adjust your seating position or move your leg a little bit and you've got maximum regen on in your EV on the motorway and you hop to your bottom and just move around to get comfy you lift your foot off the throttle you'll immediately slow the car and then obviously you want to then speed up again so you then press the throttle to get back up to the speed that you wanted. That's what happens with maximum regen on any electric vehicle. That action of coming off the throttle and regening and then going back on the throttle again wastes energy. There is electricity loss between the motor and the inverter and the battery pack and that bit of wire that goes between the two there's a little bit of heat, there's a little bit of resistance. You will lose some energy in that off the, off the throttle, on the throttle. So it's far better to not waste that electricity because what you've put back in the battery, you will lose trying to get back up to speed again. 
it's more efficient to drive with no regen so that when you do adjust your bottom and move your foot and you come off the throttle you're not losing a huge amount of speed like you did when you had full regen i hope that makes sense but i'm a massive fan of regen for normal driving brilliant and even in the e-nero you can hold the pedal in for maximum regen to slow the speed without using the mechanical brakes every time you touch the brakes and that those brake pads grab the discs the discs get hot that's why they're ventilated that heat is energy you're getting rid of so in an EV don't ever touch the brake pedal if you can help it because that wastes energy in most EVs as soon as you go to touch the brake it will activate some regen as well so it's a blend of regenerative braking through the motor and also the mechanical brakes what I'd like to see in the Model Y is the ability to completely perhaps turn off the regen, which you've got with the new Model Y, the Juniper, you've got that reduced regen setting, but it's not fully off and it's not controllable as you drive. And that's what I like about the Enera and all the other Hyundais as well and the other Kias, that ability to change the regen as you drive with the flappy paddles. That's what I meant and that's what I really like. I did find this image um, from the data from fueleconomy.gov, image by Kieran Kirk for Yale Climate Connections. It's really good. It illustrates that 22% of the energy recaptured by brakes uh, and fed back to the battery, so regen. But interestingly, 18% is lost through drivetrain losses. Okay, 18% is drivetrain losses. Now that will be when you're going forward because you know the, the, the um, fixed gearbox, if you like, the reduction gearbox will get warm. The motor's getting warm. That's energy that's come from electricity that's creating that byproduct of warmth. So there are some losses, but there are less losses as well when you're using regen between the motor and the battery pack. That's what I was explaining. But overall, you don't really have to worry about it. It's only when you become a nerd do you want the least amount of regen for long drives on the flat. Um, I'll put these two illustrations up. It's really good. Uh, basically, 87 to 91% of all the original energy in the battery uh, goes to the wheels. Whereas if with an internal combustion engine car, only 16 to 25% actually ends up going to the wheels so all the all the rest in a ice car is lost through engine losses parasitic losses drivetrain losses auxiliary use and noise and vibration and heat mainly that's why we have radiators to cool down the engine block in an ice car so two great illustrations perhaps um use this to talk to your friends who are convinced that um EVs are not the future when certainly they are when it comes to efficiency. I'd also like to say to my critics on the subject of regen, I've been driving electric vehicles since 2011. It is also 10 years, September 2015, 10 years ago, that myself and Chris Ramsey of Pole to Pole fame, we were the first to drive a 24 kilowatt hour Nissan Leaf from, from John O'Groats all the way down to Land's End we spent 40 minutes at Land's End and we turned around and we drove all the way back. Totally and utterly stupid, dangerous, um, but we were 10 years younger and I wouldn't be able to do it now, but yeah, we were awake for something like 28 hours. Uh, but we did it to prove that EVs could drive the length of the country. We were the first to ever do it in a 24 kilowatt hour leaf. And I think a few weeks later, we, a few weeks later, some guy did it in a Tesla Model S and smashed the time. But we did it in a 24 kilowatt hour leaf. That was 10 years ago. I can't believe where the time has gone. But uh, Chris, of course, went on to all the things, driving pole to pole in his Nissan Aria with his long-suffering wife Julie. Um, but there you go. So uh, why did I bring that up? Well. On that drive from John O'Groats to Land's End and back in a 24 kilowatt hour leaf, we tried every conceivable way of, of conserving energy. Hypermiling, which means knocking it into neutral and coasting as much as possible. We found that 
the least amount of regen whilst on the motorway was the most efficient. We had leaf spy up as well on one of my mobile phones uh, just to, to look at the temperature and uh, the amount of energy we recouped. We got all that data. We had nothing else to do for 28 hours. <laughs> so I can say categorically 100% the least amount of regen is the most efficient. So I hope that ends it. But if you think otherwise, that's fine. That's great. But talking from someone who does have some experience of driving electric vehicles since 2011, I can promise you, and Chris will testify the same, if you want to drive on the motorway, you want to get the most miles per kilowatt hour, get the regen onto zero or as low as possible and just let the car drift along. There you go. That is the final say <laughs> on regen. So I've got to do it sometime. I've got to sign off from a very breezy Orkney. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.